During COA week of 2016, Liam Byrne described the problem surrounding children of alcoholics as a big dirty secret and I couldn't agree with him more. And so I wanted to explore a little bit just exactly why I think that. See, when it comes to alcoholism, denial is so deep rooted, it's almost hard to explain where it comes from and how it works. But as a child, I was always taught the truth and reality could be escaped and that we just pretended that things weren't going on. See, in my household, I was no stranger to absolute chaos, uh, crashing, banging, fighting, screaming would all be going on sometimes while I was upstairs in bed, sometimes while I was in the other room. And it was kind of like I, I felt like at the time I didn't exist, but it made me feel frightened, scared, lonely, angry. And at the age of four, five, six years old, I had no idea how I was supposed to process these emotions. If I spoke to my mum about it, sometimes I, I would go and see her about it and try and ask what had happened the night before while I was in bed and I would get told that everything's fine, there's no problem, there's nothing wrong here, that we're all fine, we need to just get on with it. And so from that I learned to escape reality and truth. I learned that to be happy was to just pretend that my sadness or my fears or any ne negative feelings weren't happening. And so I became accustomed to escape. I learned, as I've said a million times before, to just be okay. And so when you're at that age and you're supposed to be learning how to process everyday emotions, positive and negative, I was learning to suppress and escape. I was an innocent victim of alcoholism before I was even beginning to think. When I was nine years old, or may have been eight years old, see my memory is that hazy of when I was a child, and my dad passed away as a result of alcoholism, the denial already was running pretty strong. See, I couldn't go to school and talk about my dad's death with anyone, I couldn't seek any help, how was I going to? Perhaps if he died of cancer or in a car crash, I could go to my teacher and explain. Maybe we'd announce it to the school, people would gather around me, I would find love, compassion, support. But there was no way I was going to go and tell my teacher that my dad had just died of alcoholism. I knew what she thought of alcoholism. We'd done lessons on people that drink too much and do drugs are bad, so I knew what she thought. I knew what the world thought, because we were taught it. And so I pretended that it wasn't happening and I escaped from reality. As I got a little bit older and got into my teenage years, the suppressing got more and more difficult and became more far removed from my dad's alcoholism. I couldn't put two and two together about how I was feeling. My anger came out of me sideways at school. I didn't want to burden my mum with any more problems. so. The consequences of my anger coming out at school and my perception of life was getting me in a lot of trouble at school. My mum couldn't understand, of course she couldn't. I was good as gold at home. My anger was coming out at school, I was venting at school. The sadness and the loneliness that I felt, I couldn't even comprehend, but I used to cry myself to sleep and I had no idea why. I did not put it down to my dad's alcoholism. This was six years on. I didn't believe the past could play a part in how I was feeling. By the time I reached my adult life, I have to start taking responsibility for my actions. The consequences turned from detention to nights in police cells. And still my anger's coming out of me sideways. The way I perceive the world, I'm angry, I'm scared, I'm lonely, and I'm covering this all up and I'm escaping reality but it continues to come out of me sideways. As an adult, you have to face the consequences of your actions, and I'm starting to be guilty for loads of different things, and things that I need to face up to, things that I need to take responsibility for, and I can't even take responsibility for my own thoughts and emotions, because I'd never learned how. By the time I was 24, I was ready for suicide. I had four children, and a complete inability to live life on life's terms. I'm not saying everything that I'd done bad as an adult was a result of being the child of an alcoholic. 
But what I do know and what I can see today is that there was a process from the innocent child of an alcoholic to the guilty man that I became. The reason I'm telling you this is not because I seek sympathy or even compassion for people. Part of who I am today is taking responsibility for them actions and the consequences that came as a result of them. I'm one of the lucky ones. When I reached a suicidal point, something happened and I found a new life and the life I live today is beyond my wildest dreams, but I repeat, I am one of the lucky ones. Um, and like I say, when I talk about the innocent child turning into the guilty adult, it's because the alcoholism remained a dark secret through my whole life, and that is a deep-rooted denial. I'm talking about the 2.5 million children in the UK alone that are still at the stage of the innocent child. Are we gonna leave it as a dark secret? Liam Burns said there's absolutely no plan in place in this country for that innocent child. So in 20 years, are we all gonna pretend that we have no idea why, why they're acting like they are, why they're angry, angry at the world and violent, why, there's pe why they've got so mental health problems, why, why they're seeking help for a problem they don't even know exists? We can't leave this as just being a secret anymore. It's time to out the secret. It's time to stop it being such a big dirty secret and let the children out there, the children of alcoholics, the 2.5 million children in the UK alone need to at least know what's going on. Will it ensure that every single one of them grows up to live great and happy lives? We can't promise that, but they deserve the chance that we're not currently giving children of alcoholics. Alcoholism is a family illness in which the children are 100% innocent. Let's try and change them growing up to be the guilty people. Let's try and stop them growing up to be the sick people. Let's give them a chance.